good afternoon. Well, barely afternoon anyway. So, I know a lot of y'all seen this big eyesore of a dresser sitting beside the house. It's in the barn. And that's because I have meat chickens. And they, there's 39 of them now. One passed away. They are quickly outgrowing this. And although I'd ideally like to put them on pasture, they're only a week old. So, I really can't put them on pasture yet. At least for another week. But the dresser here has always been destined for something. <laughs> Hadn't figured out what yet. So now I know I'm going to turn it into a chicken brooder. And it uh, it's going to be kind of a big... Oh, sorry. Still trying to figure out that stuff on the, this camera. So it's going to be a big job. Yeah. Got some tools. I'm going to paint it. And... We're going to get them from this brooder, which I'll show you. I did the lid. I cut the lid out and wired it all down, the chicken wire part, to give them some way to bring them outside. So then they're protected. But they're quickly outgrowing that. <laughs> so we're going to work on this thing. So I'm not a builder. I'm not going to pretend to be a builder. My grandpa was a carpenter and I helped him about yay much build things. I'm not a builder. This thing here is extremely well built. I really wish if it would have had drawers in it, this thing would be sitting in my house right now. But it doesn't. It didn't have drawers when I got it. So I'm going to take these pieces out, which is going to make me cry just a little bit. And I may not work on this top part yet. I may just work on the bottom. But I'm going to have to remove this piece and drop it down a little bit and reattach it. But it's all put together with like uh, pegs pretty much. There's a few nails in it, but it's mostly pegs. Everything's been carved out. This thing weighs a ton. And it was probably a beautiful piece in someone's home at some point in time, but it's not gonna fit in my home. So I'm gonna have to modify it, make it something different. Chicken brooder it is. <laughs> problem. This side of the board is pretty rotten. This side is still solid. And the groove, tongue and groove part down in here, it's still great. But this side of the board is a little bit rotten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a section off of this picket, which has already been cut off of. And I'm going to use it under here to kind of give me some structure to screw into this board. I don't know if anybody can see that. But here's hoping you can't because I ain't gonna repeat myself. <laughs> Having some issues. Got my little board cut. I tripped a breaker and so I had to fix it.
pretty secure. It's kept a cat out, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, I went ahead and painted the back first because it's going to go back against this for now until I find the permanent place for it. I'm going to stain the top and I'm probably going to stain the inside. Get around here. So I wanted to make sure I put a good coat of paint on the back of it because it is going to go against the wall. I had a phone call so here's what I did this is temporary until I can get the rest of it done or get some more wood I'm gonna use this to cover it I stained the bottom which it's dark in there so you can't really see but it's drying pretty good and I put this camera died so now I'm on my phone um, here we are it's not done and I did this as a temporary cover it's just a feed sack it's gonna fold down over it this right here this wire is still going to remain open, so they got lots of natural airflow where they're at in here. It's by a window, so there's lots of air that moves around. It's the healthiest option for them. I still have to put a floor in here and make this part into a brooder also, where it's a two-tier brooder. But that's going to have to come in a little bit because I am out of wood. So, and wood's expensive. <laughs> I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible. So far, I don't have anything in this other than some paint and some time. I found this on the side of the road. I used the pieces that went with it and um, about a three foot section of a fence picket for the front kickboard there. So really, I don't have a lot in it, but thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you got something out of this. Probably not, it's more of me just doing something today. Thank you guys, we'll see you soon, God bless.